Hi, it's Austin from Goose Nun on the hottest day of the year. As you can tell, I'm, I'm hot and sweaty, but I had a bit of time today, so I wanted to put together um, a video. Just really shows the equipment that I'm using and the gear and the signal flow and the, the pedal board of Doom, um, which loads of people have asked me about at gigs because it's a bit excessive. So let me take you through to what it is I have going on. So over here we have a Marshall Jubilee. Uh, this is the reissue model, the 2555X, it's a 100 watt Marshall head and silver Tolex with an oversized uh, Marshall 2x12 cab. It's an absolutely sick head, um, I've only had it for uh, a short period of time. Uh, it goes on 50 watts or 100 watts but I'm using it on 100 watt setting all the time because it's got more of a breakup. Um, I'm using that with this guitar at the moment, this is my Yamaha Revstar, this is another relatively new addition. Uh, this is the 820 Cafe Racer. It's totally bone stock, apart from I've taken the scratch plate off it. But um, this is a wicked guitar. Uh, it sounds a bit more Les Pauly uh, than my PRS. So I haven't totally retired my PRS, but uh, I'm just using it less and less at the moment. I'm using it as a backup guitar, which is a bit ridiculous for uh, a guitar of that standard. But um, yeah, it's still a wicked guitar. It's just I'm playing Yamaha at the moment. Uh, so over here we have my pedal board of doom. I don't know if you can see this guys, but I'll give you an idea of signal flow in a second. So what we've got here is a Boss ES8. This is um, what I'm using to control all my rig and all my pedals. So this controls my channel changing, all my effects switching in and out and also MIDI switching for my Boss DD500. My Line 6 uh, M5 Stompbot modeler, um, as well as swapping in all these pedals out. Um, so on there I've got the Friedman BEOD, which is their brown eye uh, overdrive, which is like a distortion box. Uh, classic Ibanez TS9, um, the Boss DD500 Mega Delay, the M5 as I said before, which is handling all my random stuff. Uh, Boss Tuner, uh, Digitech Supernatural, um, reverb. I've got an EQ on there that I'm not using at the moment but will be coming back into play shortly uh, and a Roland EV5. So the Roland EV5 uh, changes parameters on my delay pedal uh, and also on my uh, M5 Stompbox modeler. So that's my rig. It's actually a lot more simple than, than it looks. Once everything's programmed in it means that while I'm singing I don't have to be doing a lot of switching around or, or tap dancing and all that kind of stuff. So I'll give you an idea of some of the sounds that we can get. I'll see if I can find a decent spot for this, which I bloody can't. Yeah, let me see if I can stick it down here. No, I can't. That's upsetting. Um, all right. I'm going to stick you up here for a minute. Okay, so in terms of the sounds I'm getting from this at the moment, might sound a bit farty and you're off access, but um, this is really doing everything uh, for me. So going through One Track Human, this is pretty much just my Freeman BOD. <laughs> which is a pretty good high gain sound. Um, really, really dig that pedal. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, so in with that, there's not really a lot that I do apart from I have, I've got it as my solo saying, but it's not really a solo, just bringing in a little bit of phase from the M5, switching it with MIDI, uh, and just bringing in a little bit of that, which is more of a... <laughs> Which 
which is pretty cool. I like that sound. Um, so moving on to like secondhand smile, I get to some more of my clean tones. Uh, so for this, I'm using a little bit of the TS9 to give more of a sort of push clean feel. Um, I think I'm also bringing in uh, the Boss DD500 on like a shimmer delay uh, and my Supernatural reverb on, on just like a, a really nice plate reverb, which gives a sound not unlike this. <laughs> Bridge parts. I'm moving on to my dirty section where I'm bringing in uh, slightly less um, volume on my volume pedal uh, to cut down the gain, and I'm bringing the reverb again on that. One. Or I could play it wrong. Cutting over to a dirty setting, which is dirty on the amp, uh, and I think I'm using the M5 on that on its overdrive setting because it's got bass and treble uh, on there that you can play with just to sort of um, tame the top end on the distortion because there's a bit of high uh, fretboard work on that. <laughs> that I'm going to show you a bag of patches is after the fall so I've just been playing with that at the moment uh, it's got kind of like a honky beginning to it um, so on that I've tried to tame that with a four band EQ again using the M5 uh, I'm using the Friedman uh, BOD on it um, uh, and just my noise suppressor on it as well so that gives us more of a kind of a <laughs> Switching over to the chorus, uh, where we're just adding in a little bit of delay, uh, which is on the Boss DD500, uh, which is like a plexi echo type of fair, just to give it a bit more wash. <laughs> to the solo where we're just putting in uh, I think we're using two decibel boost coming out of the ES8 um, we're using a phase on the M5 and we're using an analog delay uh, on the Boss uh, DD500 uh, and that gives us something like this <laughs> And that's a lot of my basic sounds really. Um, there's a few others where I'm literally just going straight into the amp. Um, you're just hearing amp distortion, which is quite nice. So on something like uh, Enemy. Which 
I quite like. It's a bit. Uh, I think the only other one that's kind of more interesting is um, I've got the M5 working as is, is a whammy uh, for batting down the hatches, and that's something like this. <laughs> Um, the tracking on that's a bit funky. Because I'm down in Jot D and down like that. So that's it, a very long-winded run through my rig on a very, very hot day. So it's Yamaha 820CR, Marshall Jubilee, there it is, Boss ESA, M5, BOD, DD500, Ibanez, TS9, Supernatural Reverb, Noise Suppressor, EV5. <sighs> I make mean, some boring, geeky shit, but... It's important to me. Go get an ice cream. It's a hot day. I'll speak to you in a bit. All right, bye.